name is Kat, and this is my channel Miss Kit Kat Madness. I am attempting to vlog, not that I know what I'm doing, and I feel highly uncomfortable doing it. So I thought for the first one I'd do like a Q&A, just to like, because sometimes people actually ask me questions instead of just going, hey, your artwork's nice, great, I am invisible. So I have like a full list of shit to read. <laughs> and we're just gonna go off that and see how this turns out. It's gonna be absolutely horrible. But let's do it. What do I have first? No idea where to read. I just put notes everywhere. So who am I? I answered that. My name is Kat, okay? I'm from Australia. I'm in my 20s. Very, very early 20s. I don't think there's much else I'm a woman. <laughs> if I can say that. How long have I been drawing? I have been drawing for about, since I was, I wanna say four. And that was a really long time ago. <laughs> See, I can't remember, I'm too old. <laughs> yeah, I've been drawing since I was four and Actually, what really got me into drawing was like, um, I don't know if like much people know which. They're like five guardians of Kandrakar. They really got me into drawing and that's when I actually made my first OC, which is really horrible. And I don't like thinking about it. But that's for traditionally, for how long I've been drawing digitally, I want to say since I was in year eight. So that's roughly about Eight years now? Maybe? I don't know. I'll lose track of time. I don't remember this stuff. <laughs> it's too long ago. <laughs> am I self-taught or did I take lessons? I am definitely self-taught. I do not have the money to take lessons. It's been a long time evolving and because I have no life all I do is draw. So that's how I taught myself. Keep at it kids. Don't stop, ever. <laughs> um, what application slash tools do I use? Digitally, I use mostly paint tool sci. I usually go for the free stuff. Photoshop as well, more for like doing effects with the drawings and giving it a clear background and usually animations. I don't like staring at cameras, it's just weird. It's like looking at myself. Uh, for traditional, I use pencil. <laughs> I have a set of felt tip pens that vary in size that I got from Faber-Castell, I think. Not that I'm promoting them, I'm just saying, like, that's what I use. <laughs> and then I use off-brand Copic markers that I got from Aldi because they were 13 bucks and I was like, Fuck yeah. Do I like traditional or digital more? I want to say I don't care. It depends on my mood. If I want to draw on the computer, I will. And then if I don't, I'll draw on a paper. Either way, it still takes a very long time to finish because I hate leaving sketches in anything. Which do I rather? Ooh. Why would I write these questions? I like both. Both are good. Both is good. Because it depends, like if I want like a nice crisp looking drawing, I'll do it on the computer or like I'll test out different brushes to get out the style that I want. If I want it on paper to give it like more like a sketched look, then I will do it on paper in my sketchbook, which I have a dozen of and should really go through. I have too many sketchbooks. Common artist problem. How long can it take? Depending on If I'm designing it myself or what's in the picture itself, usually it'll take me about from either two to six hours, which is usually just an evening for me. I mean, I can stay up night, all night drawing and I try not to because that's bad for your health. Don't do that, kids. It's naughty. Um, yeah, usually between two to six hours. There was one that took me a couple of days because I ended up changing the whole thing and then redoing it in a different style on my computer. I'm kind of proud of how it turned out but then again I hate myself for doing that. Um, yeah really the complexity and what's in it itself and if I'm designing it because usually I 
go head first when I draw and just, you know, not know what I'm doing. I sketch it and then I'm like, okay, I'll figure out the colors later. And then I spend like three hours just deciding what colors do I want? There's too many to choose from. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, this looks nice, but wait, try this. And then I can't decide. So I just, I, I, I walk away and I leave it and never finish it. Plans for the channel. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm honest, it's gonna be speed paints mostly. I will try to do vlogs. Because I'm terrible at them and I would look like people to know me, sadly. Because I have a thing with knowing people behind the artwork. The, the, the artists themselves usually chose what they like. I'm like, yeah, good stuff. I like seeing what people look like. I'm just weird. Let's just leave it at that. Fun facts! Yay! Really. Why did I write these? Favorite color? That's. Red? Purple? I mean, do you really need to know that? <laughs> do I cosplay? I cosplay. I cosplay a lot. Well, usually. Well, not a lot, but like. I made a bell dress and occupied like six months of my life. I regret that. It's beautiful though. Oh yeah, did you know? Fun fact, Princely is my roommate. Thanks Princely for shouting me out on your channel. Um, I have thanked her pretty much every day since. She has to put up with me. And speaking of Princely, I do plan to do a vlog with Princely in the next few days before she leaves my home. Sadly, I'm gonna miss her. Um, yeah, and I don't know what we're gonna do. I know we're gonna film together, try and get a couple out before she actually moves away. She's leaving me. I'm very upset. Yeah, and hopefully get that posted up here. I mean, a lot of you probably know Princely. I really hope she doesn't walk in here and watch me because that's just awkward. I hate people watching me and I know she'll laugh at me. I'll probably laugh with her, but then I'll probably cry afterwards. <laughs> I've pretty much covered everything on my sheet. I already failed the don't swear point. Oh yeah. This one. I just want to thank everyone. Like, everyone who comes to the channel, everyone who comments or likes, or just watches the video in general. I mean, I feel proud of myself for actually getting off my ass and making this YouTube channel and actually putting content on it but then I'm actually very I don't, don't want to say empowered but like influenced to make more content to make videos and do stuff with my life <laughs> because people actually notice me and like I found that on YouTube people are more open I mean, I've been posting art on DeviantArt and Tumblr and Instagram for years and it just, it's like, oh yeah, I like it, but I'm not going to say anything. On here, people comment all the time and it's actually, you know, like, it sh I, I, th I feel like it should be a bad thing, but like it also, it gives me that boost to be like, yeah, I can do this. Like, I can draw, I can post stuff and people will respond in a positive manner, which I have loved. Thank you so much. Thank you all of you. Honestly, I didn't even think I'd get this many subscribers, like this quickly. Like I had eight the other day and then because of Princely, she exploded. And then I just got messages after messages and I was like, thank you. I actually almost cried. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> Is it bad for me to say I almost cried? <laughs> I'm really sensitive about this kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm, it just, it means a lot. So thank you. This vlog is turning out horrendously. I'm gonna edit the shit out of it. Look at my cat. I was gonna call him Arthur, but it's my sister's cat. Any Mystery Skulls fans out there? <laughs> Hi, Puss. His name is Jax. Hi, baby. Hello. 
You look at the camera, or are you camera shy? Probably sick of me shoving the camera in your face, me and Princely. What she does is take photos of him. Don't you, baby? Good boy.